Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today on this, the last day of 2015. Thought I'd go ahead and do a video so that I can start getting ready to go out and party tonight, ring in the new air, get hammered. <laughs> oh, you know I'm just joking. Even back in my drinking days, I wasn't a New Year's um, Eve person. New Year's Eve is amateur hour. The real drunks stay home because we're drunk every, we were drunk every day. But, uh, yeah, tonight, I don't know, I might make it to 12, I might not. Eh, it's 50-50. But, anyway, this talk today, I was um, in bed last night, uh, just doing a few things, and a couple of ideas popped into my head, and I started uh, writing or typing on my iPad. I like to bring my iPad to bed with me at night, because that's when I get some of my inspirations, thoughts, and just you know, being senile like I am, I, I find I need to go ahead and put something down, make notes. I'm constantly using that notepad feature in there to make notes to myself. And I started just making a few notes and it just kind of kept going and going and going. And I said, well, I think this would be something to talk about on the last day of the year. Now, mine is not resolutions. I'm not making resolutions. The things that I'm talking about on my list are things that I've, I've already been working on to a certain extent, um, things that I'm just going to commit to more fully in, um, in the new year, things that I'm going to take a little bit more to heart, and, you know, just a few things that I want to do in this coming year. So, let me get right to it. 2016, my list. One of the big things, and I think I talked about this, um, you know, in a mindfulness video uh, relating to mindfulness, breathing, meditation, whatever. I'm very um, adamant about going from scattered to focused this year. Um, I'm always doing stuff, and I try to multitask, and when I multitask, I don't do anything really well, but I'm just jumping around all day. I'm always here, there, you know. It is the, it is the unstill mind, and it, it, gets, it affects my actions, you know. It just feels like sometimes I'm, um, I'm doing this, and then I jump to this, and then I go here, and I'm thinking this, and, my mind, and then I'm just not effectively getting the things done that I need to be done, and I look at the end of the day, and sometimes at the end of the week, and I realized, like, wow, you just kind of, pardon my language, pissed that time away. You didn't really accomplish a whole lot. So I want to be more focused. I have a lot of stuff going on with the blog, with making these videos. I want to do some traveling as soon as I get back down to Costa Rica, if possible. Now, we are going to be in our peak season, so a little more expensive, a little bit more crowded. But I do want to take my thoughts, my energy, my work time, and I want to take it from scattered to being focused to be able to be efficient and get things done. Um, one of the next big things I want to work on is continue working on ahimsa. Ahimsa in every part of my life. Um, not just the ahimsa, do no harm, not just in doing harm as far as killing, taking life, but even just in my actions and in, in kindnesses and unkindnesses towards others. Um, you know, thinking before, you, thinking before I speak, um, even, you know, sometimes even little snarky, sarcastic remarks, if those hurt somebody's feelings, in a way that is kind of break, you know, going against the himsa because you, you are causing harm, you are causing suffering, even if it's just the, that person's emotions or their feelings. And I want to be more aware of that in 2016, and I will pay more attention to the words I say. And even my thoughts, because the thoughts lead to words. A lot of times, one of my one of my big things is, and I find this helps me a lot in life, is if I'm a, if there's any doubt, any hesitation about something you're about to say. And when I say you say, I mean, you know, in our little world of typing and sending out messages and posts and stuff too. If you ever have any hesitation or think maybe maybe I shouldn't say this, maybe this isn't very kind, blah blah blah, whatever. I'm not saying don't do it, but don't do it immediately. Think about it for a little bit. And sometimes that little voice will even get a little bit stronger and say, yeah, you're just not served saying that, you know. You might just be feeling like you want to get something off your chest and it's not going to help anybody. And it could potentially, the words could hurt. So Ahimsa, I want to go further into Ahimsa. I want to explore it more in my yoga practice. Um, I think as people ask me what kind of yoga you're doing, I'm just going to start saying I do Ahimsa yoga. Um, letting go of ego. 
Um, this is something I've been working on almost the whole time I've been on this journey, and I just want to continue that, just peeling off layers of the ego, peeling off layers, peeling off layers, and just, you know, get to the point where, you know, I don't know if it's possible to have no ego, but to, but to let go as, of mu as much ego as possible, because ego is one of the most limiting factors that we have in our lives. Ego gets in the way of so many things we could have just because we, we allow it to. Mental toughness. Um, last night I was watching um, this this video that a dear friend on Facebook uh, shared um, called um, the Iceman. You may have seen this before. Google it. He's amazing. He's one of these guys. He can rev up his metabolism, and he can st he, they can basically pack him in snow for hours. Now I'm not looking to go to that extreme, and I'm not sure. Maybe my body's adapted. I I wonder sometimes about these people that do the cold showers and the cold therapy. I read about it. There's a lot of benefit to it. I just wonder if this guy, who even though I wasn't born in the tropics, um, I've been living in the tropics for 16 years. Before that, I've lived mostly in hot, warm climates. So cold water is my kryptonite, but mental toughness, mental toughness. That's one aspect that I just believe I'm going to bring in to work on that area of mental toughness. Um, let's see, what else? Quieting the mind, but which really quieting the mind is... Uh, well, I've got a little um, something I wrote down here. Quieting the mind, which is really part of a focused mind, which goes back to the first. And then um, I concluded from that, a focused mind is a quiet mind. So I do want to quiet the mind. Like in that video, I want to work on, you know, slowing this thing down and getting that monkey to stop running all the time. That monkey drives me crazy. Um, this is no hesitation. Regular pranayama and yoga. Um, I, um, I was getting, I haven't been doing yoga as regularly here in the States. I just don't have a great spot and I'm, I'm being lazy. I just don't feel it here at this house. But, uh, I was doing yoga quite regularly, um, right before I left Costa Rica and 2016 is going to be a full year of yoga. And I've talked and talked and talked and talked about the pranayama and the breathing work. And that is going to be something that's going to benefit with cold therapy and, uh, and the mental toughness. And it's not, when I say mental toughness, I just mean more of a strong mind. Sometimes I feel like, you know, um, I don't endure things very well. I haven't had to deal with a lot of pain or adversity. And I think, um, I think uh, having mental toughness helps you to deal with those kind of things. Um, now, and I was also writing, and this is the last thing I wrote, just a little paragraph here. I hesitated to uh, talk about this because, you know, sometimes I wondered, you know, how people bite off a bunch of stuff or talk about a bunch of stuff they're going to do. I wondered if I would really work on all these aspects. But then I started thinking it's not so much working on things as removing obstacles which prevent it from happening naturally. And that's really all there is in life. Removing obstacles that prevent the natural order from doing its job. One more time. Removing obstacles that prevent the natural order from doing its job. That has to do with food too. That has to do with your body. You can use that. And you know, we always talk about food. That's why the breath, the pranayama, these other things, these are things I want to focus on. The food's elementary. The food is elementary school. That's all it is. You're in the fourth. I don't care how advanced you are, where you've gone in the food. That's elementary school. That's just like kind of a, you got to get through that to get to the, to get to the real work. And so that's why I say I would encourage people. I don't like you. I don't want to rush you to get there. But in your time, which can solidify the lifestyle, I encourage you to get the food thing um, out of the way because there's other stuff to be done. We can't, you, you can't just like take the next six, eight years of your life trying to do whatever version of food you want to do and taking up your time and your, and your energy doing that. There's so many more things out there to do. Or, or for me, for me, like I say, I shouldn't tell people you should do this, but that's what I want to do. There's things I want to focus on. There's important um, aspects um, of my life that I would like to fulfill a little bit more. I haven't really contributed that much in my life. And you know what? The food and talking about food, and, and I'm never going to do that. I'm going to always still do uh, videos about food, but you're never going to see me on, online or whatever splitting the hairs and um, like getting into the finer details of the food because there's just too much more important stuff out there. I mean, you know, instead of sitting around and doing that for the next eight or 10 years, I want to feed people. I want to get kids off the street. I want to do things that actually contribute to the betterment of this planet. 
And, you know, this year has been a phenomenal year. I feel really good. I feel really good. Um, no regrets in 2015. And I just want to continue moving forward in 2016. I really, really love and appreciate each and every one of you that always tune in here, the ones that drop through every once in a while, the ones that are here for the first time, the ones that never come back, uh, whether you like me, whether you don't, I love every one of you. And that's my evolution. That's my evolution is towards, and I don't use that word so much like a lot of people do because I like the word to have meaning. I think, you know, I'm, I'm, I can be kind of a gruff, uh, colder person, but and I don't really fit into this whole like saying love, 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 love 8,700 times a day because to me, I'm sorry, to me, just to me and my definition, that cheapens it when it's just like in every post online, in every meme, in everything somebody does. It almost, it takes a little bit of the meaning out of it. So when I say I love you guys, I truly mean it and I think of you as family. Hope you have a wonderful new year and I will see you again tomorrow. Peace.